always got that creepy doll with her. The Sacred Rihanna is a magician and illusionist from Indonesia who gained international fame after appearing on the 13th season of America's Got Talent in 2018. She is known for her dark and unsettling stage presence, which has earned her a reputation as one of the show's most controversial and polarizing acts. During her time on America's Got Talent, Rihanna's performances were praised for their originality and creativity, but also garnered criticism for their disturbing nature and reliance on shock value. She made it to the competition's finals, where she ultimately finished in second place. The sacred Rihanna is good at her craft, stages her act in such a breathtaking manner, and her performance is enough to make the boldest of men tremble in terror. If you're scared of the dark, you better brace yourself. It takes talent to exude such spookiness. What really happened to the sacred Rihanna from America's Got Talent? Marie Antoinette Rihanna Graharani, aka the sacred Rihanna, attended St. Ursula Catholic School and then had a university education at the University of Bundamulia. Her love for magic developed right from an early age. She chose the pseudonym The Sacred Rihanna because she considered magic sacred. The Sacred Rihanna got the zeal to practice magic from her magician father. She became a highly skilled magician through constant training and dedication and settled for a horror-film-inspired, eerie persona. Rihanna's stage persona is characterized by flat facial expressions and head-and-hand -and -hand twitching movements. She appears on stage with long black hair that covers most of her face. She is often dressed in a long-sleeved dress and white tights, holding her doll Rihanna, which always wears the same outfit as the sacred Rihanna. She is mostly silent and talks only to give warnings or instructions whenever she speaks. Her voice quivers and sounds inaudible. Aside from doing stints as a magician, America's Got Talent isn't the only show she got into. She was on The Next Mentalist. She became a judge on the show called The Great Magician Show. Even though she is currently off talent show, the sacred Rihanna does still offer other stage performances alongside her voodoo doll and other spooky assistants. Additionally, she documents her backstories on Spotify in a podcast called Kisar Horror, The Sacred Rihanna. On top of that, the 30-year-old magician has her own snack brand. She collaborated with Overdose, a gourmet popcorn brand, to create her flavor, Exvarian Mix, the perfect thing to snack on while watching her performances. Beyond the spookiness, this grand magician is as ordinary as the next guy when she is not on the stage. A trip down to her Facebook page, you'd find pictures of her without a signature long-sleeved gown and a voodoo doll. It almost feels strange to see a photo of her with her family members, which contrasts a persona on stage. She also has selfies that show her face without looking creepy in any of them. Before making it to America's Got Talent, Rihanna performed on Asia's Got Talent in 2017, where she was crowned the winner after beating DMX Convalenos, a Filipino dance group. Again in 2017, the sacred Rihanna placed second on the Trans 7 reality show. While some people found her acts highly entertaining, others found them too scary and disturbing. Throughout her time on America's Got Talent, she gave highly theatrical performances filled with horror film experience. Her dark performances make celebrity judges and audiences cringe in their seats. While growing up in Indonesia, Rihanna idolized the magician David Copperfield. She got a stage persona from a film character, Sadako Yamamura, the antagonist of the Ringu series film. The sacred Rihanna made it to America's Got Talent as the second Indonesian to make it to the show after Demi and Aditya and literally stole the show, making it to the quarterfinals. While on the show, she particularly had a knack for messing with Mel B, one of the judges on the show. During the audition, the sacred Rihanna took a photo of Mel B and then displayed different photos of suspected victims in a murder case on the desk. She had Mel B pick one of the photos and one name from the different names displayed. Mel B happens to choose the name Bob. Simultaneously, the sacred Rihanna revealed Bob as the suspect, showing a picture of Bob in an old newspaper she held which previously had no pictures. The image of the victim also showed in the photo Mel B had taken earlier. In episode 1309, Rihanna performed Judge Cuts. The performance consisted of the illusion of the sacred Rihanna playing with an imaginary friend. She gave a hyper-realistic and frightening performance that earned her a straight yes from the judges and sent her directly to the quarterfinals. 
Getting to the quarterfinals, the sacred Rihanna took Spooky a notch up. During her performance, she gave her look-alike voodoo doll to Mel B, creating an illusion where her doubles came out of the audience and swarmed to the stage while the real Rihanna ascended a wall. This scared the audience and the judges alike. The performance was cut short after a scream of terror and a commercial came on. Following the terrifying performance, the sacred Rihanna couldn't advance to the semi-finals and was eventually eliminated. Rihanna's performances were designed to be unsettling and were intended to shock and surprise the audience. The abrupt cut has left fans asking if the performance ended as it was supposed to. The audience was confused and expected a continuation after the break. Well, they eventually got their answers when the show resumed and went to the judges' comments without words on what had happened initially. Some fans were expecting a full clip on YouTube, but when the episode made it to YouTube, it was the same as what played out on stage. Some fans believe that what happened may hinder our chances of moving forward in the competition. However, it turned out that the cut to the commercial break was not a mistake or system malfunction. It was, in fact, planned from the get-go. According to a leaked document from the show's crew, the cut appeared 100% intentional. Meanwhile, it is unclear whether the cut was to get tongues wagging, an attempt to be creative, or even both. Whichever way, one thing the cut for sure did for the sacred Rihanna was that it garnered sympathy from fans, so much so that her performance was the most viewed among the 12 performances for that night. Similarly, her performance hit over 1 million views that night alone on YouTube, given that no other performance was memorable on the set day. Another explanation that can be given for her abrupt exit from the show is the difference in culture. The sacred Rihanna grew up in Indonesia, her home country, which is an Asian country. Understandably, the concept of her magic would lean toward Asian culture, which obviously didn't appeal to the American audience. For instance, American illusionists and audiences are exposed to magic acts, and the tricks are the most impressive thing about the performance. Meanwhile, the reverse is the case for Asian audiences and illusionists. Asian magic shows focus on the plot, and illusions are incorporated into the performance when the story has been laid out. The deviation from the usual explains why some Americans who watched a performance never found it impressive. In fact, some viewers refused to vote for Rihanna because they considered her act not scary enough. This may also be the case of a culture clash. American horror often entails jump scares, disgusting and shocking imagery, while that of Asia focuses chiefly on curses and spirits. After leaving America's Got Talent, the sacred Rihanna proceeded to Britain's Got Talent, the champions, in 2019. Yet again, luck was against her, as she was eliminated in the preliminaries. Overall, the sacred Rihanna didn't make it to the finals of America's Got Talent and Britain's Got Talent. So she moved on to star in movies. She made a debut appearance in acting in her own horror movie titled The Sacred Rihanna Beginning, making her the first AGT contestant to have her own film. The production is impressive, and the thriller alone garnered over 3 million views. Later, she starred in Stargirl, a Disney film in 2020, where she played the character Grace Vanderwall. Later that year, she appeared twice on Masters of Illusion. The first occurred in late May, and the second followed in mid-June. The sacred Rihanna didn't stop at that. In July 2022, she starred in the sequel of her movie, The Sacred Rihanna 2, Bloody Mary. Also in 2022, the sacred Rihanna made a guest appearance on Indonesia's Got Talent scene during Fritzi's grand finals performance. Later that year, she reached the semi-finals of La France and Unincroyable Talent Season 7. While the sacred Rihanna has appeared on the big screen as a well-established horror-inspired character, she is pretty much like you and me. Her talent has put her name in all things mysterious and eerie. She might make a grand reappearance on TV soon.